Hi guys, it's been a long time, but here I'm back again with an unboxing um, from Northumbrian Tin Soldier. Um, this is a Nightfolk uh, range of miniatures, Dark Fantasy miniatures. Um, this is a June release pack, and um, I really like these characters. They've got lots of uh, different ones, um, and they're all kind of pills. It's got a kind of uh, labyrinth and dark crystal feel to them. Strange nod things that are, which really appeals to me, which I love. Um, to give you a little bit of the sort of essence of the fluff, um, there's a little bit of a, a poem there on the site which I'll read out to you. <laughs> Down the lane and through the hedge, very close to twilight's edge, when your soul is wrapped in sleep, the night folk rise in darkness deep. Which I thought was pretty cool, gives a nice little flavour to it all. Um, Without further ado, I'll get this open and we'll have a look at the miniatures. Uh, just okay. before I um, get it out of the packet, uh, on the back there we've got a little um, idea about what night, uh, night miniatures are. You can see there a range of dark fantasy game figures inspired by tales and traditions of fairy and folklore. And um, I'll put a link to the website and um, to check them out, check out what else they sell. Um, right, so uh, they actually came packaged really nicely in this. Uh, black tissue paper here and let's have a look now at the package. It's come packed with a very thick piece of foam to keep to kept the uh, miniatures in there um, quite well. It stops them from rattling around which you might find in some other packets. Let's get this out of here. It's not supposed to be well, hey, quite handy for any uh, chipping stuff so it's going to keep, keep hold of your foam. Bases. Okay so um, we've all got all individually named, and uh, just to remind myself their names, pretty obvious who they are. I'm not it again. Let's have a look at these one at a time. One at a time. So we have here, way Sir Hal, the Bird Knight, and uh, Sir Venerable, and we'll have a look in the second multi tail. Uh, so Bucket the Boar. And um, Squire Knapsack. Let's have a look at the first one again. Let's have a good look at the detail on them. They're very well detailed. They are um, 28 mil. I'm not sure I'll give this is a uh, sort of comparison scale. If you can just pluck one of my Space Marines up of here. Get up of here. Um, Spesh Marine. And Night Folk Miniature. So that's the size there. Um, that's the first one. Look at these. So, right, you can just hang on there. Anyway, um, let's have a look on the back. Very nicely detailed, and uh, doesn't seem to be much of a mould line going on, so it'll be very easy to clean up and uh, get on the base. I've been trying to think what sort of uh, setting I'll put them in, so I was thinking about that. On the uh, website it shows like a cobblestone uh, extension, so uh, let's see. It appears to be, is that a little? I think it's like a little ear trumpet for him. I'm not too sure yet. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Um, let's get a bit closer perhaps. Yeah, that would be better. I think any other guy turn around at the same time. There you go. There you go. Nice little halberd. I love that old medieval style helmet. Wicked. I love the uh, there's so much character in them as well, that's what really drew it to me. That's, I like those quirky old type of things like I say not like before, like um, Dark Crystal and um, Labyrinth, those funny little characters. Also like um, in Blade Runner those, the, uh, the guy who made the toys and then had those little diddy people walking around those little outfits and uh, and stuff, so it kind of reminds me of that as well. What's he had there? There's a nice little mace. Uh, this is sculpted by a car called Martin Black. I'm not mistaken. Yes, Buck was mistaken. Apologies. Yeah, so there's a hey, so this is for a second here. Um, on the website, I'd seen that they uh, actually painted in his eyes. I'm not sure, I think there's an eye there. Let's have a look. This guy, whoa, blowout. 
indication of an eye there. Black snack pouches and last guys here. Okay, his helmet just uh, covers his eyes completely. Just, uh, his nose there hang, hanging out there, sticking out of it. Yep. Come out the brim. And there's a little face. <laughs> there's a little face. If I get into that. Oh, almost. Yeah, I didn't realize that was there before. <laughs> That's wicked, I love that. I like also um, the, uh, in this one in particular, normally in miniatures, single piece miniatures, they're cast in the pose which is kind of like, um, like with this guy, sort of side on, to get this any sort of three dimensionality about it, having the parts protruding out from the miniature. But this one they've actually got um, a bit here just with him sort of facing us, but still with the axe um, going beyond the miniature and a bit of depth to it. I kind of like that. I don't know if that's intentional, but uh, that's cool. I like the flame there and a the <laughs> the huge spike. Bang! That's <laughs> just excellent. I love it. That's cool. I like how he's got a little. Obviously, obviously he's got a knapsack um, because he is, of course, um, Squire knapsack. Supposed to be running around helping whoever. So I suppose you can use you can use these in any uh, games really. I suppose which would be relevant dungeon type games. I just uh, thought it would be nice alternative um, to painting um, some project ideas which I had in mind. It'd be a lot of fun to uh, to paint, get some characters, get um, characterization in there. You know, bring the characters out. I mean, something to say. Probably have a go at, look at this guy's face a bit more. Closer, I yeah, oh, yes. He's got a kind of Brian Froud look about him a little bit. A little scroll, I think I mentioned that. Yeah, was it a scroll or was it a little bedroll? Probably a bedroll, yeah. Nice chain mail. Just to make sure I haven't missed anything because I was. Looking and talking, yeah, he's got two patches there. Not the pointy toes, and this bucket helmet and the horns. Lovely flail. And anything else I might possibly have missed on this guy with the feathers. I see a bird theme with this guy, since he is uh, the bird knight, not the dark knight. Oh, nice cloak. So. Might be something to be painted on here, some sort of detail I could do. Yes, um, I'll put some pictures up on here from the website. Um, I've, I've seen a couple of painted examples of, well, a painted example of um, this guy and uh, this guy on Facebook, which I have links to, and I'll, I'll might show a couple of pictures just as I put these two up here. <laughs> All right, well, I think um, these are wonderful. They are, Lovely, you can put so much cat into them, do them however you like really. I'm thinking if when I paint them up, um, maybe having some blue shadows in there, I'm not sure. Because uh, the idea of them being night folk coming out of night at night, but then they don't have to be, it could be anything you like really. Um, they're lots of fun, it'd be uh, well, a lot of fun to do uh, as, as a break from your normal projects and things. There's going to be a new um, release pack for this month. I'm not sure when it's going to come out this month, but uh, on the website there's a illustration there and, and it looks uh, pretty damn cool. Um, I might bring a picture up of that. It's a good idea, I think. Um, so yeah, um, thanks for watching and um, check out Northumbrian Tin Soldiers website. Check out the Facebook page as well to see what's going on. Um, thanks to Spud for um, posting up about this uh, new company uh, and, their, and their range of night folk miniatures because I wouldn't have known about it and um, otherwise and um, check them out thanks for watching and um, well thanks also to uh, David Holland who uh, runs night folk sorry 
Northumbrian Team Soldier for uh, posting it out. Uh, quicker than I thought it would be posted actually. And um, thanks so much for watching. We'll be back soon. Thanks. Bye.